um, last year in 2018. Started off with many struggles, trials, chains, bondage, um, me living a life of sin, being lost, being broken. But it ended with victory and with peace. Yes, with sir. God, with every aspect of my life. And I thank Jesus. And I just thank the people that are here tonight, all of you that have just been supportive and showing me love and showing me grace. It's amazing. So a little bit of background about myself. I was born and raised um, in a Catholic <clears throat> church. Did the first Holy Communion, first confirmation or the confirmation. Um, didn't go every Sunday. Uh, only went sometimes. Uh, I always believed in God. I never, and I always knew of God, but I didn't really know God. And knowing God has just been a transformation in my thinking, in my life, and me being a better husband, a better father, a better friend, and a better just person in general. Uh, so 2017, me and my wife and my two beautiful children, we uh, attended New Season Christian Worship Center. 2018 is the beginning of the testimony, my testimony. Um, I turned my back on God. Since the age of 20, I've been off and on drugs, but I'm free from that now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and part of that was hanging with the wrong people. And unfortunately, it happened to be with family. And I just, I feel, I feel very strong with surrounding yourself with the right people. People who are going to encourage you. Positive people who That's are right. going to uplift you. Amen. Not right. talk down to you. People who are going to encourage you. Not discourage you. People who are going to speak life into you in truth. Um, a scripture that I like to always go over is 1 Corinthians 15.33. And it reads, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> and as I tell my kids things about life and I share with them about choosing their friends and choosing them wisely and what they're going to be doing and, and make sure you walk with righteousness, I find myself getting revelation that God is trying to show me when speaking to my children. And it's just amazing because before I would never be in tune with God and never hear his word and never hear his voice and never hear the calling that he had on my life until I started being obedient. Amen. So my addiction started taking control over me and over my life. My family's life, I almost lost my family, almost did not end up getting married. Um, was just wasn't being up to my potential what God had for me and just wasn't being a good husband um, well at the time a fiance and back then I, I just I thought I wanted to give my wife the world but as I started to pray more and started to turn to God more I had to give up the world yeah. mm. because what I was giving my wife was jealousy, envy, pride, arguing, frustration and that's the stuff I had to let go. Amen. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. And as I shook off the enemy's stronghold, I grabbed a hold on to Jesus. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! Now that I grab a hold on to him, I, I don't ever want to let him go. I want to hold on yes, to sir. him. Yes, sir. I want to let other people know that there is life, there is a new life, there is transformation in God. Um, so I started seeking out God because I was I was done. I was tired. I couldn't do it on my own. I try it on my own. I try to think about it. I try to think about the outcome. I try to think about the situation when I was in. I was trying to figure everything out on my own, but it never ended up right. And that leads me to Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. And that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. He shined his light on me in my darkness. Yes, sir. And it feels so good for him to pour into me, for me to pour into others, for me to shine his light that he shines into me so I can shine to others who are maybe 
may be feeling down, who may be feeling broken, who may be feeling lost just as, as I was. And I also had to change my thinking. And there's a quote that Albert Einstein says, and he says, the world we have created is a product of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. Yeah. It had me so much in a bind, so much, so much stress, so much turmoil that I was just going around in circles off of my own thinking. So I started to pray more. I started to dive deeper into my word. I started to worship harder. I started to praise harder. I started spending more time with God, having intimate conversations and becoming more obedient. And boy, has that changed my life. I stopped believing in the enemy's lies and started, started believing what God says. That you are healed. All your needs are met. You are more than a conqueror. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are his masterpiece. You are the apple of his eye. You are the object of his affection. And you are at the center of his delight. Amen. And I just am here to share this testimony in hopes that it will encourage maybe some of you that are here tonight. Some of you who are listening online. Or maybe somebody that you know who may be going through a certain situation. But also, I wouldn't be here, yes, first and foremost, without God. And second, for my wife, pray for me. Amen. And stuck by my side. But two, to have mighty men in my life. Amen. Minister Larry, Brother Dominic, who have poured so much into me. When I was down, they were pouring into me. As I'm up, Thank they're you. still uplifting me. And, you know, we go through certain situations and many circumstances, but God is bigger and greater than any of those things. Amen. Yes. We are not undergoers. We are overcomers. Come on. You can overcome any situation as long as you put God in the center. You put God first. And I just want to close with this. So we're at the beginning of 2019, at the end of January. And I know at the beginning of every year, a lot of people have New Year's resolutions on losing weight, which I am one of them. <laughs> I want to eat better, eat healthier. It's a struggle, but I can get through it. We can get through it. Thank you. Praise God. Yeah. But I just want to close with this. To lose spiritual weight, to lose the chains, to lose, to lose the chains of pride, jealousy, envy, anger, frustration, bitterness, rage, offense, anxiety, depression. Lose that weight that's holding you back from your God-given destiny. Lose that stuff that's trying to hold you back from getting to your future. I have to let go of the past in order to get to my future. Yes. And put on the good weight. Put on the muscle, which is the strength, the love, the kindness, the compassion, the joy, the holiness, the courage, the tenderheartedness, yes. the peace, and the patience yes. to enjoy life, to enjoy what God has for you. Because believe me, God has a purpose for your life, yes. not the enemy. Yes. That's right. Yes. And I just want to thank you for listening and for being here for the love and support. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Thank you, Jesus.